Wendy from Chicago, Illinois, coming to you from my home office. And today I'm going to be talking to agents and real estate investors on how to properly escalate a short sell. And we're actually in part two of two. So what you need to do during escalation. So in part one video, we discussed what you needed to do before the escalation of a file. And now we're going to discuss what you need to know during the file and during escalation. And you know, sometimes you have no choice but to escalate a short sell file to move it along. And escalation is a matter of just going up the chain, finding someone that can help you. Um, even if you've been in the business long enough, maybe you have um, plenty of contacts that you can call or contact within the bank to escalate a file. Um, but if not, then be as direct as you can when you're asking to speak to a rep supervisor or someone who can make a, a decision quickly. It really only takes one phone number and one phone call to get to where you need to be. So um, you, might not, you may even need to go to that supervisor's supervisor. So be prepared for that. And at this point, um, your bank negotiator might ask you, what do you need? Well, you might be tempted to say that you'd like to poke their eyes out with a hot poker, but that would not be very professional to the team. <laughs> but instead, tell them that you really need to speak with a supervisor. Ask how that can be arranged. Um, maybe explain to them that you would prefer to, prefer to speak to the supervisor directly, that you don't want the supervisor to call you back, that you don't want an email message passed along to the supervisor, but you want to speak with them directly. Um, and you may want to get a phone number and um, a name now. And ask nicely. Say please. Um, this is the part where you actually might get disconnected accidentally, but um, or let's just say you might actually get the supervisor's information. But we all know if you're disconnected for whatever reason, call back and start over again. You're used to that already, so just give it another try. So where do you go from here? Well. You want to go to someone who's going to actually look at your short sell file. So getting a live person to open the file and examine it with you in detail, you want that to be done with you. Um, even if you have to literally open up your file, um, go from A to B to C, read everything that you need to. Show your superior knowledge to that negotiator of the property that you have. Um, and be prepared to present your concerns and your needs. And if you're disputing value, then go over the comps with the supervisor. See what their comps come up in their system. Tell them to read you everything that's in their notes. Um, don't be afraid to ask for things that you need um, because you're actually working for the homeowner and um, you're their support system. And um, you know maybe you need to get help with um, extending a short sell date. Maybe you need to get a BPO ordered. Again, um, maybe you have changes on the final HUD, but be simple but yet give that supervisor facts so that that supervisor can actually take quick action. And at this point, um, you're probably working with somebody who's about as sane as you are, or you hope anyway, um, and that they're at least competent and enough to work with you and to give you fast and quick answers. And really, you're just going to go um, you're going to let them see that you're trying to cooperate with them because you really need them to help you get to the second level or to the third level or to the fourth level. So be organized so that you can help them help you. Laugh while you're talking to the escalation supervisor. It just calms everybody down and they'll be more inclined to listen and assist you. And so maybe just to recap a few things. Um, you know, make sure that you have a valid reason to escalate your file. Make sure your attitude is in check. Um, make sure you're actually talking to the right person. Um, if you need to give the supervisor time to respond, definitely do that, but be clear with your demands. And don't be afraid to go one step higher, or two steps higher, or even higher than that. Um, but persistence is key. And remember, this transaction is going to end someday, so just continue to do your due diligence for the seller and for your team. And that's it. So hopefully that was a great tip on part two. Thank you.